In this episode, I'm going to show you how I built my Duo 11 laptop section. Stick around. Hi, and welcome to a new episode. Today I'm going to show you how I built my laptop section, this part here. It has three tracks on it and uh, I'm going to show you what I used and how I did the connections for these tracks. I will also be building the upper level laptop section which will fold the opposite way of the lower one. So let me show you this one first. These notches here are contacts for the lift-up section to connect with to pass the current coming from this track, this track, and this track in here. Sorry about the camera hit. Uh, to go to the lift-up section, and um, the red wire from this, this, and that are here. This is the common for all of them. When I close the, the section, I have this micro switch here, which opens the circuit. And um, the minute I lift up the section, the, uh, the track shorts. It's to make sure that if, this is, if it's not closed properly, um, the trains won't go. The last thing I want is to drive a train off the edge of here and go onto the floor. We all know how expensive that would be. So, um, uh, I will have this here, and I will replicate all that you see here in the upper section. This here is used to lock this section in place to make sure that the tracks align properly. So far, it's working for me. It's no rocket science, but it's working. Let me show you the other side where I did the wiring. I had to make this stay here to stop it from folding over too far because of the tracks hitting onto the other side. So I left a small gap there, a few millimeters, and when the, the lift up section comes up, it hits on here. I've had it fall over on me a few times and I have recently added this lock here just to make sure it doesn't fall over again. These four screws up here are the contacts I showed you on the other side. Like I said, there are three reds and are common. And these go down here and they feed the track, respectively, wherever, wherever the track is on the other side. No rocket science again. Simple hinges. I had to raise the hinge of it because we all know otherwise the uh, the tracks will hit. So I'm gonna lock this in place. First I'm gonna put the camera down. I'm gonna show you how I do it. So I'm going to remove the latch, lower the uh, section down gently, guide it into place, help it down, fasten the latch, and that's it. Over here, I just double check that everything is okay and it's nice and smooth. So this is right in its place where it should be. I have already started working on the upper section and namely with this. This is where the hinge will be mounted on to elevate it from the main board. The reason of course I repeat is to keep the tracks uh, stopping from hitting one another when the, when the section is raised up. So I have one here and I'm going to glue this like I did all the others and screw it in with one screw in the middle and that screw will be covered with the hinge like here and there will be two more screws there holding the hinge down on each side. So let me do that and I'll get back to you. I'll, I'll have the bridge in place here. Okay, so I finished installing the 
upper lift up section but I have to make a bit of a change with the hinges because when I put them where the joint actually is and the uh, section was raised the lower section was hitting up against it on its way up so it was in the way so I extended these for the hinges to be further back and when this goes up it goes up way further back now and it clears so I'm going to open it I'm going to show it to you open you see you see where the hinges are you see where the board is now it's all the way back here so the bottom section here is clear I mean if it clears this it will clear anything so that's okay now I'm going to show you the other side this side is pretty simple and straightforward I made sure it has what to sit on when it goes down and it goes down there like that I have this bit of wood here it's just a guide to make sure this is always flat to align it so when I put the track up here and uh, they'll always be aligned according to this I don't want to put one on this side because it will, uh, it will block the scenery and I'm trying to avoid that a quick update I've installed the tracks here I've glued them and it looks okay I've tied with a couple of wagons it's okay I prepared these uh, copper tags uh, to be able to solder to them and and then eventually cut the track for the section that lifts the same on the other side so next time that you see this it will be soldered and uh, and wired and I'll show you what I did in the wiring until then okay so I finished the wiring and this is what I did these are the wires coming from these two tracks here and to continue the uh, the block I extended these cables and fed them to the track on the lift up section and I did this on that side there is the uh, maybe you can see it better there's a micro switch there to kill the supply once the latch is uh, once the uh, lift up section is lifted and these three connections here these flexible pieces here when they come down they come down and touch those three screws which are wired there the next part of the block which reaches all the way to those points so when I lower this they make contact with that with those screws and the current goes through uh, a necessary evil these locks up here I hate them with a the passion but I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to do them because um, uh, the uh, the alignment of those tracks is, is critical and without these I cannot achieve it because those contacts there tend to push the, the lift up section slightly from side to side and uh, well this way I'll be able to adjust and lock them in place I'm um, not very happy with them to be honest with you uh, fidgety but for the time being they will do they will do the job but eventually I will find uh, an easier and better uh, solution to this but for now it's okay well I hope you like what you saw I'd like to hear comments Take care guys, until the next one.